Hey all you guys and girls, stick around and I'm going to be telling you what I think the best 5 apps for the Xbox One are in 2020 and probably beyond. Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. First off, if you're into gaming and you like hints, tips and a little bit of humour, why not hit that subscribe and bell icon? And without further ado, let's get on with what you're here for. So, coming in at that fifth spot is none other than Spotify. Now, I have yet to find someone who doesn't like music, so Spotify has to make it onto this list because it's pretty much got everything you need at the tap of a button. It's a completely free app and you can actually pay money to upgrade which I believe makes it have a little bit better audio and no ads whatsoever but unless you have a problem with a few ads and you can find an issue with the audio uh, I couldn't myself then I would say definitely try it for free for a while and if you want to upgrade further down the line go for it one really good feature at the moment or I say, say feature one really good thing to have at the moment uh, if you can look into the background here, you'll notice I've got a thing called Stream Beats. Now, that's not its homepage, it's basically because I've already looked at it before, that's what's come up. And what it basically is, if you've heard of a guy called Harris Heller from the Alpha Gaming channel on YouTube, he's compiled a list of songs, or tracks should I say, uh, that you can kind of play in the background as ambient noise, and they're perfect for anyone who wants to upload a video to say YouTube or is doing Twitch streaming or Mixer and it will prevent you from getting any copyright strikes so it's well worth having Spotify just for this need really literally pick the tracks that you want to listen to for a little bit of ambient noise in the background then you pretty much come out go to whatever else you want to do say you wanted to chuck on a game or maybe start some streaming then that will be playing in the background. Up next we have Twitch and Mixer. If you've got an inkling to watch your favourite gaming icons like Shroud, Pokimane, uh, Dr Disrespect, the uh, Game Salmon, then all of those will be on here plus thousands more. Or maybe you just want to check out a little bit of gameplay, uh, live gameplay should I say, of a game that you've not seen yet. Or see how some of the pros play some of the games you're already playing. Or need to create an account, but after that it's pretty much all free. Follow whoever you'd like to see more of, chat with them using the chat bar, or of course, become a streamer yourself. Coming in at that number three spot, we have none other than Anime Tube Unlimited. If you're like me, and you're a big anime fan, this is definitely the place you want to be. This is very similar in style to Crunchyroll, it's a streaming service where you can watch all of your favourite episodes from all of your favourite shows. If you're like me, definitely going to want at least one app for your anime, 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 however you want to say it. And this one is a cut above the rest at absolutely no cost thousands of different shows just click the filter option search for what you want and in the off chance it's not there there are many different servers up the top here that you can change to see if it's on there so if you can't afford the subscription or don't want to pay for your anime then this one is a cut above the rest I believe you can pay a little bit of money if you wanted to cut out all the ads and such but you don't really have to on this one because it's one of the few examples where the ads are on the screen rather than streamed within the videos so if you don't already have an app for your anime fix this is the one for you coming in at our number two spot not many people have actually heard of this app it's very very rare and not really well known it's a little app called YouTube I'm kidding of course YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world a lot of people don't realize that because most of the time if you're like me you pretty much just spend your time looking for short clips of well randomness or if you're anything like my son apparently then searching for FGTV poop is the way forward if you tap something into YouTube 
odds on you're probably going to find something very very similar to what you need and like I said it's actually a search engine very similar in aspect to Google so a lot of times you'll find yourself using it to pretty much find out all of the things that you need to know without leaving the comfort of your own sofa the amount of times this has got me out of a bind is pretty much uncountable you've just got to make sure that you're not spending too many hours on it otherwise the day could go a lot faster than you think coming in at that all elusive number one spot is none other than game pass ultimate this app is absolutely essential for xbox at the moment it is a subscription based app so you will have to part with a little bit of money for it but in my honest opinion it is well well worth the cost um, if you get game pass ultimate it comes with Xbox Live Gold, so you will have all of the online features that you'd usually get with that. So you'll be able to play games to your heart's content. For example, if you have a look at this front screen here, pre-install to play on day one, Minecraft Dungeons. A lot of the best games that are coming straight out are put on Game Pass nowadays, such as Gears of War 5, uh, Wastelands 3 is coming up, and like I already said, Minecraft Dungeons now. At the time of video in this, it has over 230 titles. Now, to put that in perspective, each of these games ranges probably from £10 to maybe 60 And the subscription fee is £10.99 in the UK per month, um, and probably around about $15, $16 in US. In my opinion, as long as you can afford it, you can't go wrong with Game Pass. Another thing you get with it is perks. It's basically like little add-ons to the games you've already downloaded. So it might be free skins for Smite, or maybe upgrades for your battleship in World of Warships. It also has a new system where you kind of complete daily or weekly quests. And once you hand them in, so it might be completing three levels of a game or something such as that to do with Game Pass. And like I said, once you hand them in, uh, you can exchange it for that you can exchange for certain things in its own built-in store. An absolutely great little add-on. Now, I know I said there'd only be five, but this one's quite new to 2020, and I felt like I had to put it in here. It is none other than the man of the moment, Disney Plus. I myself haven't had the chance to actually download this yet. Um, I should be doing that in the next month, but I would say if you've got a family, or even if you haven't got a big family but you enjoy it, lots of entertainment and maybe you've watched everything there is on Netflix and Amazon for the moment and you may want to give this one a whirl it is subscription based so it will cost you money however I believe at the moment there's a free trial so it's definitely worth trying and it's pretty much got everything you would need on there from the Disney brand which now of course incorporates Marvel and Star Wars in my opinion the Mandalorian by itself looks like this might be worth picking up and as you saw there you can also watch it on four screens at once that's absolutely amazing for keeping the kids occupied and this app is definitely one for the future because you know Disney will be investing a lot in making this the best they can for 2020 and beyond so if you've got the money this is definitely one to watch out for and maybe you can Rewatch all the things you remember from your childhood. Right guys and girls, thank you all for watching and hopefully there was a couple in there that you've not, not actually got on your Xbox at the moment. I'm sure some of them will definitely be on there because they are quite popular apps. But some of the things might have helped you out a little bit, like the stream beats. Or maybe you watched the Game Pass and thought, I'll have a bit of that. Either way, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more gaming, and hints tips and a little bit of humor then hit that like hit that subscribe and hit that bell icon and hopefully i'll see you all in the future take care see you on the next day